Welcome back to Suncorp. The 100th Origin game about to take place and what an atmosphere. What a build up it has been. A sea of maroon away down to the southern end of the ground. And uh, bespeckled there, of course, by the New South Wales blue jumper, heavily represented, obviously, as Queensland endeavour to stretch it from eight to nine. Well, they said that this crowd may not fill every seat in the stadium, but I think from what I'm looking at, there's not a vacant seat to be seen. It looks to me to be right up there with the capacity crowd of about 52 and a half thousand people, I think, is the figures that they reach. The 100th origin, the 49th game at Suncorp. And some said many years ago, back in 1980, it wouldn't work. The Queensland team just waiting the queue to come on out. And they'll be led out by the grandchildren of Arthur Beetson. And they will file past the famous number 11 jumper that is being rested for this match tonight. And the man wearing the number 18 shirt, Chris McQueen, will then pass over the jumper to the eldest of the Beats and grandkids, Pedro. Game one, New South Wales, as they come together for the final time before they disperse after the anthem. But the importance of game one cannot be overemphasized when you look at the stats. Two thirds of those who win game one have gone on to win the series. Consider this, only once when the Blues have lost game one in Brisbane, had they gone on to win the series in over 30 years. So Paul Gallen about to take New South Wales out, and here's his reception. Ninth leadership for Paul Gallen, of course, engaging in that one-sided uh, exhibition in Sydney last year he's come through injury together with several of his teammates to make it back to this memorable night this evening there's young Daniel Tupo the youngest of the New South Wales team at 22 years of age Paul as I said his ninth captaincy I'm very proud to be out there but as I said, he was a walking wounded just a few weeks ago. This man, Anthony Watmo, has had a checkered year. Luke Lewis, you can say the same about him. So we're just waiting for the Queenslanders now. A big reception waiting for them, following the grandkids of Arthur Beetson out onto the park. So not far away will be Cameron Smith, and here he is now with Billy and Greg behind him and Matthew and Corey Barr. Now the reception. Absolutely bubbling and I'm sure brought to that pitch by the fact of the pre-match presentation put together by the New South Wales Rugby League, the NRL and of course Channel 9. We're standing by for the anthem as the two teams come to face the Western Grandstand. Referees for the match. Shane Hayne in his 13th appearance, Ben Cummings in his sixth appearance. So now let's go to the ground for the end. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the Australian National Anthem to be performed by Phoebe Panaritos. Phoebe is currently playing the lead role in Baz Luhrmann's Strictly Ballroom, the musical, currently playing at Sydney's Lyric Theatre.
please thank Phoebe Panaritos from Baz Luhrmann's Strictly Ballroom the Musical, based on the iconic film and currently playing at Sydney's Lyric Theatre. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for a special on-field presentation. Our current Queensland number 11, Chris McQueen, is wearing the number 18 tonight. He's resting the number 11 jersey and handing it over to one of Arthur Beaton's eldest grandchildren, Pedro Beaton. Stage almost set. The start of Origin 100. Is this the start of nine for Queensland or is it the beginning of the end for New South Wales? Much of the talk from Queensland this week is about how they have been ordinary with their starts in recent times. I'll be looking to make up for that in the opening ten tonight. So Origin 100 is underway off the booth of Cameron Smith and uh, sailing down to be fielded back there by young Hodkinson who sends his forward James Tamo, I believe, back to the 10 metre line on the first play of the night. And here's Farrah now out to the 20 metre line. Second tackle of the night, Matt Scott was the man that made that tackle. Ryan Hoffman now. Four grand finals for Melbourne. Won a Challenge Cup at Wembley. And then from Gallon back through Reynolds, gone to Hain. In from full back. And he comes towards the Western touch line, but pursued and pulled down by Boyd and Thurston. And now for Bo Scott. And he will take it up towards the halfway line. So the Blues just simply concentrating on getting through this first set successfully. And they're going to do that off the boot of Hodkinson. And he kicks, and he kicks with purpose. Bouncing up, though, favourably for Brent Tate. And Tate is hammered by the Blues back on the 20-metre line. Yeah, it didn't look that fluid, but both halves looking to get Jared Hayne involved into the game early. So this is Justin Hodges. In those bright pink-coloured boots that a couple of the players, in fact, several are wearing. So Queensland with Darius Boyd and now Corey Parker. Aaron Woods and James Tamo, the props, working together with Bo Scott, making the tackle. And then off the boot, it comes from Kronk. It was a tackle on Kronk, but it was quite legitimate. And now Daniel Tupo carries it back, and he feels the wrath of the Origin defence for the first time. Played back then for Hodkinson to go to Jennings, and Jennings runs at Greg Inglis. And together there, he's brought down in company with Chris McQueen. So to Bo Scott now on the blind side and Parker is there waiting with Thurston. They mill over the top of him with Miles and then away for Gallon and Gallon up towards the centre of the ground and Scott grimaces as he makes the tackle together with Smith and McQueen. Hodkinson then for Tama. Origin 100 and the 49th game at Suncourt. And it will be a promoter's dream if we come back here in six weeks' time with a decider, won't it? As this kick goes down to Billy Slater. And Slater's on his way back out to the 10-metre line. Got it away to Tate. Tate is tackled by Tupo, who was enticed off his wing. And the tackle made, but here's a slippery run by Slater, getting it 33 metres out from his own line. Play back then for Cameron Smith and then for Nate Miles playing in the number 10 shirt. Centre ground. Woods and Gallon making the tap. Now for Parkham now. Thurston. Inside ball, McQueen. It's gone to Greg Inglis. He turns the ball back for Cooper Cronk. And Cronk will play the ball 27 metres out. Danger for New South Wales. Parker got rid of one and looks to get rid of Woods but can't. And Gallon comes to his assistance. 20 metres out from the line. New South Wales on red alert at the moment. And Miles, the front row forward, kicks. It's not so bad. Tupo flies and comes down with the ball, I think. But he's gone into touch. 
Payne inquiring about the feed, and it's gone to Queensland. Well, he got through the line way too easily, Chris McQueen, a couple of rucks ago, and I'm sure Jared Hayne was very happy that Greg Inglis decided to look for support instead of taking him on. Inside play there, a grab in defence, and Hayne, <laughs> he was delighted <laughs> that Inglis passed. Wait till it's out. Wait till it's out. Golden opportunity for Queensland. Just take a look at where Inglis is standing. They've gone to him in situations like this previously, but there's a huge opening on the blind. And everybody's on the left. Goes <laughs> Thurston. Goes deep. Slater comes in. Tate is there. Here's Boyd. Boyd has scored, I think, for Queensland. There's a celebration happening in Maroon Jumpers. Boyd, a prolific Parking. try scorer. Has Tackle he got one. it? I have a try. Ben Cummins it's says, I have a try. Well, if they're looking at the sideline, they have a try. Because on first viewing, he seemed to be well inside that sideline to Darius Boyd, who has a bit of a habit of scoring the first try in origin matches. Everybody from the scrum win was over to the left. But they were still able to get on the outside of the New South Wales defenders. And Darius Boyd looks like he has opened the scoring tonight in their first foray in the opposition 20. Put a nice little move on here, did Darius Boyd on Morris. A little bit of interference early on, but the ball was wide of that. And Boyd, momentum takes him over. He's well inside yeah. if he's got the ball down. Well, it's just a matter of whether or not the ball touches the turf in goal here. He's down, he's up, he's down. Oh, That's yeah. a try. That's a try, and it happened all too easily. The Queenslanders used Greg Inglis as a decoy there. Brent Tate came from the right wing to pass to the left winger to score the try. Beautifully constructed, and Darius Boyd finishes it off. We'll get green lights here for sure. There'll be some suggesting that Jared Hayne has come in with his knees. I'd honestly say that as it comes up, the good news for Queensland, he was just desperately trying to stop a try. Just be careful when we're going in that we're not sliding in with our knees and making contact with our hands. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that. I'm just watching it on. And there was also a, a word to Bo Scott about some contact in the lead up to that try. So Darius Boyd has scored his 13th Origin try. Newcastle supporters will probably tell you en masse that he's been largely below the high standards that he has set for himself playing in the number one shirt but tonight as is so often the case Darius Boyd or Darius Boyd gets his 13th origin try and in his last game for the Knights against Manly he was outstanding he grew up by the way with Ben Hannon competing in little athletics Needless to say, Darius was a tad faster than Ben Hannant. So now Thurston from 21 out and bringing it back, but too much. So Darren Lockyer on the sideline tonight, a try for Boyd. Yeah, Ray, I watched the, the Queensland team yesterday at training and their left side looked very slick. And here they just execute it perfectly. Now the surface down this end of the field isn't great. You see here, Morris just slips and that was... In the end, costing the trial you see on the Harvey Norman replay. I've got to say, boys, been at the stadium a lot, but never heard of it this loud. The Morris is both playing right side. The Morris, those twins playing on the right oh. side. And that was a massive hit there on the Queensland kick return from Matt Scott. Tamu and Gallon. <laughs> Robbie Farrak, he came out as quickly as he went in. So now they go away to Corey Parker, and Parker is pulled down just outside the 20-metre line by Hodkinson. So here's Miles now with a carry. Out towards the 30-metre line. Queensland coming 
down the middle of the park. The Amy Queenslanders, 4X Amy Queenslanders, in against the VB New South Wales Blues. And Justin Hodges plays the ball and comes back to the right foot of Jonathan Thurston, who drives it down and bouncing up then for Brett Morris in jumper number two. And he's picked up. And once they pick him up, then that is succumbing in the tackle. And uh, he, the referee, is uh, in turn obliged to call hell. Here's Tupo now. He's got a big job in his hands, the youngster. He's playing on the left side. And that is his side in, in club football with Jennings, is it not? Yeah, he's going to retrieve his boot as well. Nate Miles is able to point 30 metres across. Dispossessed him, I think, is the word of the boot. At least it was in the right direction for him to get it back. Aaron Woods playing it on halfway. A run then for Reynolds, and he turns it back in. Bo Scott then got away from a clutching uh, grab by Miles and is pulled down by Scott in the middle of the ground, 30 metres out. Played by Bo Scott from Newcastle. It's gone back for the kick from Hodkinson, and it's going down gently for Billy Slater. And though he left the ground, he didn't have to. It's gone right through. Slater pursued by one of the Morris uh, brothers. He's pulled down on halfway. The chase was, was uh, Josh Morris, who pulled him down. And now... Penalty going Queensland. Yeah, and the penalty's against the other Morris brother for coming in over the top to slow the play the ball. Josh Morris, good chase on Slater, who burst into the backfield. And you'll see the brother coming over the top here to secure him so he doesn't get up and get the quick play the ball. And referee Hayne was right onto that. They're on early tilt here, New South Wales. They look nervous out there at the moment. They've conceded a fairly soft try. Slater's gone straight through. And now they've got a man up in defence again. Cooper Cronk is leaving the field. Yeah, he's in a bad way with what looks like a left shoulder. Stay straight, Bo, stay straight. He's, he's come to the sideline. As we go across, and it's with Parker. Cherry Evans on. And David Cherry Evans, possibly the number one player in the NRL at the moment, comes off the bench. And here is a stepping run by Gillett. And Matthew will play the ball 15 out in front of the patrons down at the Caxton Street end as Hodges goes away to Slater. Up. And Slater's proving quite a handful. Josh Morris and uh, Brett Morris making the tackle, or Josh Reynolds it was. Now Daly Cherry Evans away to Nate Miles. And we'll get a report on Cooper Cronk in just a moment. New South Wales defenders calling for help on the left side. Queensland come back to the right. Oh, great take, Jared Hayne. That was a brilliant piece of work by Hayne. 16 tries have been scored by the New South Wales backs, and Hayne has scored eight of them. So, Tamo brings it away, Andrew John sideline. Yeah, Cooper Cronk, he may have a broken arm. He came to the sideline, and the physio and the doctor wanted to assess him there on the sideline. He overruled him, he said, no guys, I'm gone, and hurried up the uh, tunnel. So, bad news there for Queensland. So the meticulous Cooper Cronk, the professor, the wordsmith, and the brilliant footballer that he is, looks like he's gone from Origin 1, possibly from the series. Farrah puts a kick in, it's going down, dribbling away into the corner, it'll find the line. Where did he kick that from? Uh, he was outside the 40. No 40-20 here, but a different dynamic comes over the game now. We talk about the inexperience of the New South Wales halves on debut, but this will be the first time in a long time that Queensland have a new number seven leading the way. Yeah, Daly Cherry Evans will find out how good he is. This is a major change for Queensland. It's not just uh, losing a man of his ability. It's, of course, we've become used to seeing Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk and Cam Smith working together. They're going to lose a lot of that around the edge of the ruck, their set plays. It's also a godsend for them. But they had him on the bench. It's a typical example of the depth that Queensland have got. Daddy Cherry Evans is out there. And they couldn't have hoped to bring a better player into the game to replace Cooper Cronk. As I said, he could well be the form player of the NRL, Daddy Cherry Evans. And that is Matt Scott taking it away to the 30-metre line. 
apparently I'm just being told that Cooper Cronk's arm is broken. So Cooper Cronk has gone with a broken arm for the night. And the charge down from Smith has been scooped up by Jennings. This is the sort of, sort of stuff that he's uh, so dangerous at. And Jennings will play the ball for Farrah to come to Scott on the right side. And Scott is wrestled down by Inglis, 30 metres away from the Queensland line. Coming down toward the Milton Road end of the ground, and it's Gallon with the ball. Playing it just outside the 20 metre line, back for Farrell, now for Woods, and the run around to Farrell, then on to Hodginson, a cutout for Hay, knocked down there by Hodges. So New South Wales have got a good opportunity here. Loose head and feed about 19 metres out. That's exactly where Queensland scored their first try from a scrum win inside the opposition 20 metre zone. And Hodges there, desperate not to let the ball get to Jennings. I know that Justin Hodges fears the speed of Jennings and he does quite often get up and prevent the ball getting as wide as that and you saw there he wasn't going to let Hayne get the ball to the speeds that's on the outside but let's see what New South Wales can conjure up here from a scrum win 20 metres out. We've got Paul Gallon playing out in the centres. But good possession now, it was a poor kick from Cameron Smith straight into a New South Wales defender. Wonderful opportunity. So Reynolds from Canterbury to Hayne from Parramatta to Josh Morris. And Morris will play the ball back to brother Brett. Ten metres out from the line. Now in from the western side. And Hayne is smothered to the ground by Scott with help from Parker. Then it's Farrah. Then Gallon who throws a dummy to Farrah on the runaround. But so they're now at the middle of the park, and Farrah goes long to Hodkinson, and then to Hoffman, and Hoffman is a couple of metres from the line. Hold that, Corey. So Reynolds, a dummy half to Hodkinson, he rubber kicks, and Hayne is coming fast. Ingalls beats him to the punch, but it's a line dropout, and New South Wales get another set. And it's good pressure. An early kick there. A couple of times they've got outside Daly Cherry Evans. The first time Justin Hodges knocked the football down, that time Cherry Evans was forced to make a, a desperate tackle on Ryan Hoffman. This is what we think happened to Cooper Cronk. Nate Miles was the 10. Gillett came over the top. And we seem to think that somewhere on the line, Nate Miles and his contact had something to do with the injury to Cooper Cronk. The line dropout was good, 50 metres of it. Aaron Woods carries it back. And he'll play the ball just outside the 30 metre line. The West Tigers front row forward, who of course followed Manly with uh, great devotion as a youngster growing up. Reynolds back for Hayne, Hayne on to Josh Morris. Greg Inglis has got him eventually. It was touch and go for a couple of uh, couple of metres though, and Scott it is getting it on. Reynolds pushing it through. Tamo with the ball, and Tamo is nine away from the line, playing it to Farrah, Farrah to Gallon, the run around again, the short ball to Woods, and Woods hard to stop, and he's held up. Short of the line. Plenty of people in the tackle spaces off and out wide after that. So Farrah goes back to Hodkinson, they set for Tupo, they set for the youngster, there he goes, there comes uh, the ball back down to Queensland though, so they had well rehearsed for that particular play from New South Wales. Well, it wasn't a particularly good kick from Trent Hodkinson either, it was too far away from the try line, Matt Scott now winding it up, they'll be looking for a good set here, they've had very little possession in the last five minutes. Cherry Evans is the dummy half, and Inglis is the man that's asked to take it away. And he'll play it on the 30 metre line. Tamo and Woods making the tackle. Good run there from Darius Boyd coming in to help out. That's the last. Josh Papali on for Matt Scott. As Cherry Evans kicks from inside his 40, but straight down the middle of the field. And Jared Hayen back to his own line. Bringing it back, so Matt Scott is off. 
And the Canberra Raiders' Josh Papali is on. Played well in the World Cup. Penalty goes against Queensland. Interfering with the man playing the ball. So the Blues will kick it over into the Eastern Grandstand. And that last little period there for the Blues. A scrum win, a line drop out, and now a penalty gets them a flow of possession to get themselves into the game. It looks like the nerves have settled. There was enough ball movement at the far end of the field there to suggest that there are points in this team. There was some great Queensland defence to keep them at bay, but I think the Blues would have got a lot out of that last five or six minutes. And here's the Queensland dressing room, Cooper Cronk, and the door being slammed in our faces. But Cooper Cronk, a broken arm, we're told, from Andrew Johns. The penalty count at 1-1, and some running repairs for a couple of players. Brent Tate for Queensland. And there were one of the New South Wales players at the same time getting some, some blood fixed up or plugged up might be the, the proper word. Gus, you're, you're right about the battle that's going on at the, the moment. The Blues seem to be making around about 40, 45 metres every set of six. Queensland are restricted to about 30. Yeah, it's just that little bit of possession they got there, Wally. Three sets of six in a row, and as you know, that can really change a game. This is Brent Taint, we think, copying his injury that he's currently being attended to. The coaching staff for the Blues... And Laurie Daly saying, why are we holding the game up? Why can't we play on? We were just on a roll. Daly and Meninga, of course, playing in three successful Canberra grand final winning sides. As New South Wales take the tap and Gallon gets it just over the halfway line. Miles over the top of Gillett. Now with Woods. Good tackle, the 17 Papali involved with Miles again. Woods looking for penalty, not getting it. Gallon, then Reynolds, now Hayne. And Hayne is away from Thurston. He got the ball away to Morris. Josh, back to his brother, Fred, and the identical twins. They celebrate an origin try. Oh, he's hurt himself. He's in agony, the try scorer. So Fred Morris in awful trouble. But brilliant work on his inside. We've seen this play from New South Wales a couple of times tonight. And Jared Hayne able to get outside his man and create for the Morris boys. Brett Morris to his feet now. Second man to Josh Reynolds. He goes behind Scott. And then the acceleration and explosiveness of Josh of Jared Hayne, I'm sorry, to beat two men and create an overlap on the outside, the inside pass for the try. The bench celebrates. So as you come back to us, Brett Morris has scored the try. That's official. That is beyond question. The fitness of Brett Morris is not. That's Dr. Nathan Gibbs, who celebrated a long career in rugby league and with South Sydney. He is the origin doctor, and he's just asking a few of the questions, and Ron Walker is with him. Yeah, I've got no doubt that the shoulder probably came out and has gone back in. He's much more relieved at the moment, but... The question is to whether or not he's fit enough to continue. But uh, let's stay with this kick, and this fellow has been a real Robin Hood of accuracy in the goal-kicking department. On to Boo, the Canterbury half. Trent Hodkinson, he's hooked it wide. It tried to come back, believe it or not. And Brett Finch, what's happening with Brett Morris? Well, it doesn't seem as bad as first thought down here, Rabs. He, he had his strength tested in his arm, and it looks like he will come back on. Uh, he's coming back onto the field now, so great signs for New South Wales. It's amazing because the first I thought, how brilliant's this try, and then the co-commentators went up and they were thinking of the worst possible scenario. 
for Brett Morris. Well, he hyperextended there when he put his arm out to score the try, and that can damage the shoulder fairly easily. But he's out there, the restart. Tamo, no, in fact, it's Wood springing it back now from the Hain catch. So Aaron Wood playing it back to Robbie Farrow and then for Ryan Hoffman. It's like I said earlier, when, when they had a couple of visits down there, Jared Hayne is definitely making the Queensland defenders nervous on both sides of the field. Scott has been good. He's been conspicuous down this right side. He mightn't have the bells and whistles of Jared Hayne, but he's certainly causing, causing himself to be a menace to the left edge of the Queensland defence. Played by big James Tamo. And here is Paul Gallen bumping and shoving his way forward towards the middle of the ground. Then we've got a scoreboard that is locked up at four points all, Queensland and New South Wales. And this ball rolls over the touchline off the boot of Josh Reynolds. It will force a scrum 15 metres out from the Queensland line. Yeah, and that's nice. After scoring points, just to get the ball the other end of the field and nothing too flash about that set of six. Now we've got a game on here, I can tell you. Queensland brilliant out of the blocks, but the Blues, although nervous early, have steadied and shown their hand. Jared Hayne is their man. They are going to him on both sides of the field at every opportunity. And the, the Queenslanders have just steadied a little bit as they ease Daly Cherry Evans into the, the combinations. Watmo is out there for the Blues now. Very seldom in the 24-match reign of Queensland over the eight years. Cooper Cronk has come back to the bench now with that uh, troublesome arm in a temporary sling, probably more than temporary. This is Papali with the ball. Watmo went on for Tamo, by the way. And here is Justin Hodges taking it out in typical Hodges fashion. And Queensland is stacked up at the moment. They're just sort of in a little circle around, waiting for the kick from Daly Cherry Evans. It's high down to Hayne. And he's had an impeccable start to the game. The leg has been lifted. Referee calling hell. And Hayne will play the ball 20 metres out. And here's Tupo playing certainly at his highest level. Apart from grand final, but I think this game is the toughest of all. And Watmo will play the ball 30 metres out now from the Blues line. They're running away from the famous Caxton Street end of the ground. And Gallum got a ball back. He was almost on the ground. Reynolds was the only one that stayed alert, actually. And that was good work by the Canterbury 5'8". And now it's Farrah who throws a dummy. His confidence is growing, thinking, hang on, they might be slowing up down the middle. Hayne again, Reynolds again, Scott again, and then Slater comes in. But they're making some metres here, and some e easy metres at that. There's the penalty. Penalty goes to the blue. Yeah, great football by New South Wales. Willing to offload in their own territory, move the ball around, and run Queensland around. Paul. And, he's jumping like and if there is to be a criticism of, Queen, of New South Wales over the last few years is that they haven't played enough football. They haven't been willing enough to move the ball in early tackles or offload and try and get some second phase play going. They're doing it tonight. So we'll take a break from Origin. Number 100 and come back. So welcome back to Origin, coming to you from Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, and of course exclusively live on the Nine Network around Australia, 
and of course the host broadcaster nine for the global pictures that are going around the world so Justin Hodges was running repairs on his right wrist and the Blues are going to take the shot off the boot of Hodkinson yeah, plenty of players extrapping and that done in a bit of downtime there and that was on the last tackle that penalty against Queensland you don't want to give a penalty away at all. You certainly don't want to give them away at the end of the tackle count. Josh Reynolds straight across to chat to the sideline. He was deep in conversation with Brad Fittler. As Hodkinson looks to put the Blues in front. Well, they haven't won a penalty count more than once in the last nine visits to Brisbane. If memory serves me correctly. And Hodkinson raises the flags. So his nerves have settled down. There was nothing wrong with his start, don't get me wrong, but 6-4, even a kick in front like that would be a bit nerve-wracking, and now it looks like he's calling for he, he some had, change to the apparel. Yeah, blood on the front of his jersey, Ray, and the referees wanted that taken care of, so... Trent! Trent! We've got Rennie Palmer coming out now to rectify the situation. Well, the challenge for the Queenslanders would have been to start well, make sure they try and take all the confidence away from New South Wales. They can't afford to just sit back and wait for the Blues to make some mistakes. This team are growing in confidence every set of six. And that was a little cameo in back play as Hodkinson was Watch the putting his jumper legs. on over his head. Nate Miles gave him a little dung down the way he punished. Well, I don't know why they didn't kick it at Hodkinson while, they, <laughs> while he was trying to put his jersey on. Right I don't know what he would have done. <laughs> now they're cleaning the blood off the legs. <laughs> so the Blues then bringing it out from the 20-metre line. Miles obviously working on the theory that one favour deserves another. And when Hodkinson looked like the hooded monster, Putting his new jumper on, Miles gave him a don't argue, just to shake him up a little bit. Let him know that he's playing in the big game now. And here's Gallon carrying it up to halfway, and he's put down right in the middle of the park. Talking of park, Parker was in the tackle with Gillett. And then Hodkinson, after all of the commotion, has been able to calmly put a kick down the ground. But Slater is there, and Hoffman makes the tackle. Trent Merrin out there now for the Blues after a very good opening stint from Aaron Woods. Oh, oh. Red Tate has been picked up and cartwheeled by Josh Reynolds. And uh, the Maroons are not happy. And Brent Tate, who we have documented many times, plays this game with unbelievable courage and with a neck brace has been picked up and cartwheeled. Scott and Reynolds. Scott at the top. Reynolds underneath. Well, it's spectacular and it's dangerous. He hasn't landed in a dangerous position. He's straight on his back. It's all right, it's all right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's a dangerous position. Yep. On report, that's a penalty. Okay. Well, so dangerous position and on report. And Bo Scott played quite a role in that. He was the one dragging him down with any velocity at the end. There's no doubt about that. So... Well, I'm a one-eyed Queenslander, Sturlo, yep. and I think that, uh, that that tackle... Two men were in the tackle. Neither of them had the intent to, come, uh, to pull off a dangerous tackle. That's what the problem is of having two in the tackle, though. Well, now that was passed by Miles back to a support player, and then that's been described as a knock on, and the Blues now celebrate. I think he hit Cameron Smith right in the mouth with this. Miles had plenty of attention from defenders, and the last thing his teammate was thinking is he was going to unload the ball. He goes in, he flops it out, and he hits Cameron Smith straight in the mouth with it. Wasn't ready for it at all. So That's the scrum about to pack. Andrew Johns, what's it like on the sideline, the atmosphere and all of that? No, oh, it's sensational, Rabs. They put a show on up here at Suncorp. They're right behind it. I've got to say that the raw when Queensland run on the field, it, it near knocks you over. They get right behind their crowd. But I've got to say, the last 15 minutes, the pressure uh, New South Wales have put on Queensland, I thought that was shown then in that era, the, the forced offload there from Nate Miles. 
All right, so Watmo standing out of his scrum takes play out to the 40-metre line in the middle of the ground. Farrah now for Merrin, and Merrin up to the halfway line. His girlfriend, Sally Fitzgibbon, watching the game in Fiji tonight. And a run from Farrah to the 40-metre line now. Yeah, there's no doubt New South Wales are on top. They're on the scoreboard as well now. But generous flow of possession certainly helped, but they look very dangerous when they've got the football now. Watmo suspended. And then Reynolds shovels it out, picked up by Gallon. No knock on, beats one. But Parker makes the tackle on the fifth on the 20 metre line. Queensland's end. We're down the southern end of the ground. Hodgson kick kicks. Right back by Tupo. Jennings might scoop this up. Now it's gone yeah, over the sideline, I think, off Queensland. Yes, off Queensland. Yes. I think it's gone off Justin Hodges. And it has, Billy Slater argues, but Shane Hayne has already indicated it will be a Blues feed. And that's the pressure of having a go-to man on tackle five with your kicks. Jennings cleverly doesn't play at that, and it's Hodges who get his foot to the ball to knock it dead. You could argue he probably didn't play at it either. It just hit him. But the scrum feed has gone to New South Wales, and... They are way on top. Not just a little bit, they are way on top. Go, Queensland are rattled at the moment. Let's go. OK, here we go. Justin. Bend it! Indication of where Bend Queensland it. think the attack is going to come from. They've got Jonathan Thurston standing on the wing. Left-hand side in defence. There's Reynolds throwing a dummy, and then Miles sort of attacked him with half a shoulder charge. Plays it right in front of the uprights. And Watmo is with the ball. Watmo taken down. As you can see, about three metres out from the line, Farrah might be run around again here. Merrin backing up into the defence and looking to unload. He did. And Farrah got the ball back inside for Hodkinson. And the Canterbury seven. Massive space to the right. Play the ball. Space on the right. We're hearing from the back of the commentary box. Gallon away. Scott has been fumbled by the Morris brother. Morris. And it's over the sideline, and it's a feed again here for New South Wales. Yeah, it's all going their way now. Watch this. Morris is being pulled towards the sideline, throws it back in field. Thurston didn't want to play at this. He tried not to play at it, but in the end, he put his hands on it, and he too was bundled into touch. He doesn't want to play on it. He goes down, and then he's pushed over the sideline. New South Wales, more pressure here. Now, this is the first scrum win they'll have where they can move the ball to the left so a different dynamic here from this scrum win well there's no doubt jonathan was trapped between a rock and a hard place because if he doesn't dive on it the other morris twin he's got a chance of scoring even if it was a very slender blind slide played then by watmo they come back to reynolds then haynes in hayne looking to break through Haynes over the line jared Haynes over the Take line to score. score. Because Shane Hayne has called it a try. Once examination. Well, they'll look at the momentum here as to whether the tackle was completed or whether he had the opportunity to, to do that backflip. He nearly went straight through initially, did Jared Hayne, and Jonathan Thurston was able to grab him. He rolls over. He's broken the tackle, and that's legitimate. There's not a problem there. I'm pretty certain he's broken the first tackle. And then the built-up momentum. See there? He's broken the tackle, so he goes on with it from here. Now it's all momentum. And then the lunge. That's a fair try to Jared Hayne. Yeah, it is. The referee indicated his belief was that was a, uh, it was a try. We're only looking whether something has gone wrong, whether it was actually a double movement. But if he's cleared, everything is OK. That's a certain four-pointer going to the New South Wales tally. It'll be his ninth try in his 18th Origin game. I made the point between them, the backs have scored 16 tries, and Hayne has scored 50% of them. Before the game, you heard Andrew Johns talk about the importance of that man on screen, the number one for New South Wales tonight, and he has been their most dangerous. Decision. Try for Jared Hayne, his ninth at origin level.
Jonathan actually lets him go. And then? Jonathan actually lets him go, then re grips him. Okay, so then the tackle still continues, and then we've got to try. So everything's so fine. He, so That's he's fine. To get up and go yeah, again. absolutely. When he lets him go, yeah. He breaks through the tackle. So Jared Hain returning down to the northern end of the ground after scoring that, you've got to say, opportunist try, but it had all of the intensity of origin about it. And Cameron Smith came and questioned the referee and was told that Jonathan Thurston fell off the tackle and that entitled the ball carrier to continue on. And psychologically, a big kicking it coming up here for Trent Hodkinson to put the side outside a converted try in front. So Hodkinson 10 in, 22 out, and it's away just on the edge of the upright. Andrew Johns then, a comment sideline. No, he's unstoppable tonight, Jared Hayne. He's, he's 26 years old. That's when you're around your footy career, you hit your peak, and you get the feeling the next four or five years he can really own this arena at, at origin level. New South Wales need him to stand up tonight in the opening 35 minutes as needed delivered. The last time the Blues won the first game in Brisbane was 2003. And since then, in Brisbane, have won just three of 14. And two of those were dead rubbers. And here they are at the moment, perched at 10-4 in front and five and a half minutes of the opening half remaining. Cooper Cronk off with a broken arm. Trent Merrin that was, who took it ahead. And here is Tony Williams in for his uh, first essay in the game tonight. Former teammate of uh, Trent Hopkinson. They played at Sunshine Coast in 2009 together when they won the grand final as the Manly Feeder Club. Here is Morris playing the ball and uh, taken up towards halfway. New South Wales with a lead now of a converted try, 10-4. Gallon plays the ball. Reynolds stabs a kick from just inside his own half. Down to Darius Boyd, who got the first try of the night. And he runs it back to the middle of the ground, to the middle of the 20-metre line. Daly Cherry Evans came on to replace Cooper Cronk just in case some of you might be late arrivals to Origin 1 and Origin 100. And Cherry Evans gets rid of a would-be tackle before Hoffman puts him to an end. Yeah, crucial five minutes coming up here to the break. Always plays such a role in how the sides go into the sheds. And that's got to be a penalty, Queensland. Merrin is saying they were hanging on to me. Well, the pocket referee was yelling out, milking, milking. That means the man with the ball is not trying to play it. He's trying to draw a penalty. Cameron, that's the mark there. And then the main man with the referee has decided to penalise. That's a good touch finder inside the 30. And this will be the first time in a long time Queensland have visited this end of the field. They've had no field position at all. And a good run. Hulking run by Matt Scott. 11 metres out from the line. Cameron turning it back in for Matt Gillett. And he struggles to a couple of metres out. 10-4 then. New South Wales leading close to half time. Thurston dummied, held it, gave it to Slater. Slater to Inglis. And Inglis is held by Josh Morris. And the Blues come from all over the park when Greg Inglis has got the ball. Boy dummy half, first and first, Parker at second. And Parker, eight metres out from the line. Cameron across the ground, linking with Cherry Evans, knocked on by Gillett, and then knocked on by Hayne. First knock on is Queensland. And a 10-metre scrum will see New South Wales get the ball. Well, if you recognise that play, Queensland have used it plenty of times before. You may remember Sammy Thiday scored a try off it the last time they played here. Okay, An opportunity go. for Queensland to do it. Unfortunately, not able to control the ball, but that is excellent defence being displayed by New South Wales. Wally Lewis reminding me of a couple of the great warriors of the modern era not in this contest tonight. One, Sam Thiday, and two, Greg Bird. 
And I'd like, I'd like New South Wales to get aggressive here in this last couple of minutes because there's a disappointment for Queensland. While they're ruining that lost opportunity, if New South Wales could strike and get a second try in front. It's a big blow right on the, the straight of half time. What no it was, we played the ball. Williams, former junior champion, all round of basketball and shot put and the 400 metres. Tony Williams. He's in some good form this year. Gallon did well. Reynolds was there. He's always there. The He's a wonderful support player, Josh Reynolds. Yeah, the offloads are killing Queensland tonight. A lot of second phase play has them rattled. Now Farrah goes dancing 10 metres down the ground before he met any resistance, and that was Matt Scott. And then Hodkinson gets the kick in, doesn't trouble Slater. Tate comes back. Went uh, obviously okay from that tackle earlier. But I agree with Peter, both Scott played probably as big a part, if not a bigger part, than Josh Reynolds. Now it's away from Papali to Thurston, and Thurston to Boyd, and Josh Morris, a renowned defender, pulls him down. Thurston for Parker, and something in the back play there with Thurston and Morris eluded me for the moment. Now it's gone away. Smith getting it on for Scott to go away to Papali. So Papali, eight metres into Blues territory. Here's Cherry Evans, then Thurston, now Inglis. And again, one of the Morris brothers is there. It's Brett this time. And he'll play the ball, Greg, inside the 30. Boy to Thurston. He puts a kick in. He was hammered. The ball was underneath Hain, and Hain has got the ball cleanly. Tackled immediately by Hodges. Gets a snarl, something at it. They push and shove. And his gallon now taken by Hodges. So the referee calling time. And what a half of football. Queensland away to one of their normal brilliant starts with a try by Boyd. But the Body language good from the Blues as they lead. Here's Brett Finch. Yeah, with the captain Cameron Smith. How do you see that, mate? Oh, we started well, Finchy, but just turned over too many balls there early, and um, you know, gave away a bit, bit of a uh, few errors and penalties, and just we got we'll camp the right try line, mate. And something we need to fix. We need to play down there end next half. Good luck in the second half, mate. So Brett Finch there talking with Queensland captain Cameron Smith. Coming up next in Holden half time, Gordon Tallis, Andrew Johns, Paul Vorton. Joining Cameron Smith for the first half highlights brought to you by Australian Unions. All the major plays. This is Holden State of Origin, game 100, live on the 9 NBN and Win Networks. Welcome back to State of Origin 1. I'm joined by Blues coach Laurie Daly. Lodge, you'd have to be happy with the first 40. Yeah, it's a good performance, Finchie. We started a little bit slow, but uh, yeah, our completion rates have been good. The boys have done everything we've spoken about, but the big task now is to do it again. What's the advice to the boys for the second half? Continue to do what we've been doing, mate. Sounds good to me, mate. All the best. Cheers, Finchie. Thanks, mate. Good luck. Lodge, champion. So, Paul Gallen leading New South Wales back on to Suncorp Stadium. They'd be happy with the scoreboard, but they certainly will remember times gone past when New South Wales have led and led until the dying seconds of that many origin matches that I've watched down through the years just to see Queensland snatch it at the final, at the final hurdle. Well, it's a deserved lead, but it's not a big one. No, Scott, you're right. Jared Hayne has been magnificent, there's no doubt about that. In fact, just looking at Laurie Daly, and while I've got a brief moment, 23 origins, 14 as coach, of course. He, he appeared in series victories in 1992, 93, 94, and 96. He captained in 94 in the Meninga-led Maroons. 
That was the last time Mal has experienced defeat in the Origin, Maria, of over 57 years. Mal's time in Origin, both as coach and player, 57 years. And the last time he tasted defeat was in 94, when Laurie was captain of New South Wales. Now we need to do our, our do you think the maths are wrong? we need to do our maths here. Origin only started in eighty. That's thirty-four years ago. Yeah. Seven games. Games, that's what Games. Did I say did I say years? Of course. Okay. So here's the start of the second half. And we go into this enthralling battle with New South Wales right to left now. Anthony, Anthony now. And the Queensland. With Matt Scott. Doing a lot of the bullocking work, and this is Papali. Just outside the 20 metre line. Here is Parker. Far away from his own line. Justin Hodges then. Close to the halfway line, just. Updating the scoreboard, New South Wales, 10-4. And that is Guerra, who had about five minutes at the back end of the first half. And Smith snaps a kick off, and Hayne went across like lightning to gather it in. 40 metres out then from the New South Wales line. And now for Morris. Josh, that is. Paul Gallon tonight with the name Gaznier emblazoned across the front of his VB jumper. And that would make Maureen and Peter and Kelly emotional but proud as Jennings takes it ahead now for New South Wales. Eight metres into Queensland's territory, played back to Farrah. This is Merrin. And played quickly for a one-handed pick-up by Farrah. It's Kane. He kicks high. He's sidestepping through. He goes through the air. Air swing him. Knocked down by Williams. Battered and picked up by New South Wales. Six more. Six more tackles indicated by Hayne. The referee, that is. And now Farrah appeals for a penalty. Right in front on Corey Parker. Pushing the man with the ball back down again. They're, they're taking the shot. Yeah, looking to, to get that eight-point lead. Jared Hayne, he did not even look at the football in chasing that kick, and he jumped up deliberately to put Billy Slater off. We'll take a break and come back. Well, it's in there. We, we, when he's up there, he has his general intent to catch the ball. He misses it. He had a he, he, yeah, he does. He has a general intent. never touched anyone. He just jumped early. Yes, he was. That's why. Bring him back, boys. Cameron, bring him back. Corey. Jonathan. Back, boys. Back here. So back at Suncorp, and Cameron Smith again questioning the ruling from Shane Hayne. And Hodkinson will attempt this penalty kick at goal from right in front to take it to 12-4. Darren Lockyer, it's it's over to you now. 12-4 to score, New South Wales. That's right. The word out of the Queensland dressing room was that Mel wanted the team to build pressure, particularly down the try line. He wants to see some repeat sets. Now, there's a lot of champions in this Queensland team, but by the looks of it, they're going to have to dig deep tonight. It was an extraordinary moment there from Jared Hayne. I mean, he caught the ball on the run under pressure, put up a great bomb, but... You know, when he left, he left a long, long way before the ball was ever looking like coming down. His only intention was to balk Slater. Gallon then. Just inside the 20 metre line. And Hoffman. Come on, 
from Faraday to Watmore. The double pump and held it back and gave it neatly away to Reynolds. So Josh Reynolds, 35 away from his own line, and Farrah playing more confidently as the game grows on. Uh, and that's Merrin with the ball. That nailed Trent Merrin by Matt Scott as well. Here is uh, Tony Williams now. He went over the top of Thurston. A bit of a problem for Queensland. Cam Smith limping badly in back play. And so the ball goes down the ground. Oh, the bounce was uh, good for New South Wales. Horrible for Billy Slater. But he cleaned it up. And uh, Boyd goes across now to be tackled. Five metres out from the line. So Tate. There's Smith. He is in all sorts out there. And Craig Bellamy, the Melbourne coach. He must be having apoplexy. He's got a couple of his stars in trouble. Well, I think it's a long, long time since I've seen Queensland in so much trouble as what they are here at the moment. Here they are, they're forcing passes, forcing offloads. How that's not a knock-on, we don't know, but we've got away with it. They're in all sorts here, the Maroons. So the Smith injury is there. This kick return is in the hands of Josh, uh, Brett Morris, I should say, to the middle of the ground. Here is Tupo. It's his best run tonight. 38 metres out from the Queensland line. And here's Hoffman and Smith, that is, that's dragging around the legs and Papali over the top. And now it's gone away from Gallon, gone on to Reynolds. Now it's on to Williams. Williams holds it back, goes to Hain. Good tackle. Winger angling in, that was Boyd, played on the 20 metre line. Now for Farrah, now there's a New South Welshman down, and I think uh, Paul McGregor's calling for a stop to the game. Mikey? Yeah, this Paul Gallon. It was a tackle that was made on, on Gallon, and he laid down after it. Oh, oh no. Another shoulder. Marker, and we'll deal with that if he does. We will deal so with both that. captains in trouble. Yeah, it's the impact from Josh Papali, and they, they do have a bit of history, these two men, at club level. Yes, remember that? I don't think there's anything wrong with the tackle, though. Last tackle. Last tackle. Gallon last is tackle, up. Last tackle. Last one coming. Last tackle. Last. Check. Robbie, Robbie, Ready. last tackle. Ready. And Palmer sure asking him the question. Last tackle. Cameron. Back it up. Again, Papali, and it's more like a whiplash than anything. So the last. Blues. Seven minutes into the second half. Bombing, and Al oh, Haynes got the ball. But I don't know that he got it down. Or oh, in fact, he hasn't got the ball, but Greg has got it. Greg Inglis came up with it. Now a bit of push and shove. Gallon, Guerra, Parker. And now the cavalry comes in from behind. But no punches. So Hayne had that. But Greg Inglis just beating into the punch. Yeah, he got it down on the line, Greg Inglis. That's dead in goal. So the Maroons under enormous pressure here. You cannot... I mean, I think you probably have to be here at the game just to see how much fuller running the Blues are and how struggling the Maroons are. Tupo then. Daniel, the Roosters winger. On his debut appearance, Hoffman runs strong. 20 metre line, Hoffman. Going to the Warriors next year. Now Hopkinson, Reynolds, behind Williams, Hayne draws, gets it to Josh Morris. Thurston catches a ride. The 16 is there as well, Guerra. Played World Cup for Italy last year after the grand final. Williams for Watmo. And Parker has got him. And in an upright tackle, they now put him to ground. Smith seems to be free in his action, even though he's got a big bandage. Hopkinson away, Hayne in. Lovely ball away to Tupo. 
flick pass, went forward, dived on by Queensland. No advantage them. No advantage them. And it'll be changeover, or is it a scrum? It's a scrum 10 out that Queensland will win. And this is one of the examples where Jared Hayne needs to dummy and run. All he's doing is dumping pressure off to his outside supports, and that's a real key at this level. You know, it may feel like you've got a half chance, might feel like you've got them. He's got to dummy and dig in there. All he's done is create a problem for Tupo near the wing, and he feels compelled to throw the ball away. If Jared Hayne dummies and digs in there, then they can go back the other way and they're still alive. Stay, 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 stay out. The scrum. See, you've got Danny Cherry Evans bringing it away. Uh, Sideline comment, Brett Finch this time. Yeah, right. yeah right. it's great to see the Blues play a real upbeat, aggressive type of football. You can see there's a real self-belief in what they're doing, something I haven't seen for a long, long time from the Blues. What Mo penalised? Origin number 100, live and exclusive on the wide world of sports. Is Cameron Smith finding the line on the eastern side? And a double change for Queensland now. That man then, Matt Miles, back into the action, obviously. And Ben Teo, his first taste tonight. Guerra, pivotal. Pivotal in the play and eventually to Parker. Tackle in the middle of the ground, Corey. Now from Cameron Smith, Daly Cherry in the Evans, and then back from Matt Gillett. Well, this is the biggest problem for the Queenslanders all night. They haven't been making at least 10 metres every ruck. They're not getting in good try scoring field position. First and then short into Guerra. Guerra, always a handful. Doesn't matter what level of the game you play him at. To never say die attitude, talking of that. Here is Justin Hodges back on the inside for Slater. They're 12 out from the line, five tackles gone. Smith goes to the left, there's a gap out there. Where is tackled? And that was a try saving oh, effort. By Josh, Josh, here it is. Josh Morris. Yeah, in conjunction with Tony Williams and Paul Gall in the previous play. He's a man who got Billy Slater after Justin Hodges burst up the middle. Oh, big hit on Trent Merrin. Yeah, He's are. copping a pummeling Trent. Muscling that was now. from Nate Miles. Now for Gallon. Loses the ball, went backwards. This is Corey's at the moment. It's, they can feel something happening and they're, they're ripping in. Brilliant. 15 out from his line. And uh, Josh Morris takes it out, just inside 20. Four tackles gone against the Blues, one more. And Hayne! Hayne has broken through! Tate's after him! He can't get him! Hayne gets away from him! He puts the ball on the ground! And uh, come down to the Maroon! And Slate has got the ball! So the Queenslanders stretching it immediately across the ground. First and under Guerra, and Guerra's held. Seven metres on his own side. Another explosive run by Jared Hay. English. Cameron Smith. That is Tio. This is Chelly Evans. And he's been able to beat the tackle there of Hoffman. He gains another seven or eight metres. Cameron Smith goes to Corey Parker, crosses the 30-metre line. He's good with the offload. Cameron Smith back to Ben Teo. Teo's up towards 12 metres out. Five tackles gone again. Now they come to Thurston. Thurston, he, he lost the ball, I think, and Josh Reynolds dives on it. Here it is, back here. Well, what a remarkable passage of play there. Queensland sticking it to New South Wales on their goal line. Payne bursts into the backfield. Queensland scramble back and get it. And then nearly come back 70 metres to score themselves. The game is on in earnest here. Payne again. Here it is. Billy Slater one on one with the opposing fullback. Same day for Queensland. He tried to offload Jared Hayne at the end of it. The pass found its way into the arms of Billy. Play by Jennings. That's Tamo. They're struggling to stop the big man. Eventually they do. And Luke Lewis is about to come into the game. There was some question on 
whether or not he'd be in the 17 with a, a suspect leg injury. Slater tackled on the 40 meter line. 12 4 the score in favour of the VB Blues and Brent Tate. Is five metres on his side of halfway. Justin Hodges, and he decides to go for a run himself. He stands and gets it back to Jerry Evans, who torpedoes it away to Thurston. Guerra's really running hard and with success out on that left side. Thurston waits for it to come back to him. Then he goes into the body at close range over there of Greg Inglis who plays the ball inside the 30 metre line. Now it's back to Nate Miles, comes back to Thurston. They come deep back to Slater. They go wide to Hodges. He puts a little kick in. Here's Hayne coming over and they take it dead. Hayne and Tupo. Brilliant play. Brilliant stuff from the Maroons. They were out on their feet not long ago, but they've surged back into it. And Hodges with all his experience here, earns them another set of six. Wally, how do the Maroons get Greg Inglis into this game? Well, they've just got to provide some space for them. I agree with what Gus said. Queensland got back into it three sets of six ago with their defence. 52,111 people here. Suggestions that this wasn't going to be well attended proved wrong. But the Maroons certainly need to continue to attack in the middle and spread the ball out wide, try and stretch the New South Wales defence, which is proving absolutely fantastic at the moment. They haven't looked like cracking. So Paul Gallon, the captain, is off. And Robbie Farrer, I would imagine, becomes the immediate captain. It's not foreign to him. Miles, just outside the 30 metre line. Queensland at the moment giving up eight points. Tio is 25 away from the, the Blues line. Luke Lewis has gone into the game. Smith. Sherry Evans and he gets it on for Gillett and Gillett is held there by three of the New South Wales players 15 metres out from the try line down at the northern end of the ground. Sherry Evans away to Thurston. Oh, the pass might have been a little bit suspect. Allowed to go. Played by Parker. Gone to Thurston. Inglis is lurking. He's got the ball away and Darius Boyd. Darius Boyd has scored his second try of Try number 14. That's how you get Greg Inglis involved. You work it his way. Go second man to him. Create something on the outside. And they have they have lifted remarkably on the Harvey Norman replay. It's Jonathan Thurston attracting a lot of defenders to get enough room on the outside for his men to capitalise. Some kind of a prolific try scorer, isn't he? At uh, this level, Greg Inglis at 15, is the leading try scorer. And Darius has now scored his 14th try and a double tonight. And Gallon is under the the medicos at the moment. Thurston's got that to bring it back to 12-10. I'm just wondering how. Much value will be placed on that penalty over which there was a little bit of consternation when Hodkinson took New South Wales to the eight point lead at 12 4. Just how big a talking point that will be in the post mortems remains to be seen. Thurston from out wide, and he might have given it a bit much. He did. Darren Lockyer down on the sideline now. Well, the coach would be pretty happy with that. He wanted to build pressure. They got a repeat set and they score a try. Now, Thurston, he's been playing at that left side. He's been playing short, short, short. This time he goes out the back to Inglis and they score in the corner. Now, Thurston, with Cronk off, Smith a little bit injured. He's a man that's got to take control and bring Queensland home from here. 
Repeat sets, Darren. They're, they're hard to stop at origin level, aren't they? Oh, uh, yeah. Mate, it's all about building pressure, as Mel said at half time. And Thurston, guys like that, they love that. They, they love tied defenders. Hodkinson restarts. Miles it is. With the hall back. 12 metres out from his own line, taken by Luke Lewis. It is Ben Tio with figure. 22 metres out from the line. Taken by Aaron Woods. Cameron Smith on to Corey Parker and Parker. Taken in a three-man New South Wales tackle. Hodkinson and Tamo, but here's Hodges doing exactly what you would expect of him, taking dummy half runs. This is as simple as a set of tackles gets. Well, it's brilliant. It's brilliant in its simplicity. Look how far they've come in five plays, and where they look gone, they're now right back in the game. And Tupo goes up, and he comes down without the ball. It's come down to Thurston, six more. Here we go. Six more tackles to Queensland. They're seven metres out from the line. Miles is tackled. Cameron Smith fires it away. Ben Tia. Tia is five out. Gee, I think they went to the left-hand side. One tackle too late. Oh, the man playing the ball might have caused some inconvenience there for Smith. Has come away to Cherry Evans. He shrugs away one. He pushes away a second. He goes inside the ten. He's five metres out from the line. Held by Farrell. Now Smith. Back it comes. Thurston. Out he goes wide. Hodges is with the ball. Hodges can unload. He does back to Gillett. He gets it back to Slater. Slater! I thought he was away. I thought he was through that gap. Place the ball back for Hodges. Now it's on to Cameron Smith. Jonathan Thurston looking inside, going outside to Ben Tio. Unloading the ball. Picked up by Jonathan Thurston. And he's taken inside the 20 metre line. Here's Cherry Evans. Kicks and he kicks across for Brent Tate, but this time Daniel Tupo doesn't leave the ground. He wasn't troubled at all by that kick. That's a great period for Queensland. And look at the Blues, they're struggling now to get back on side. The Queenslanders tee up on them with aggressive defence. The Maroons have fought their way back into this brilliantly. Time for New South Wales to answer with something of their own. 12 8 the score now. Tamo on this slog out of your danger zone, out of your red zone. And here's Lewis with the ball just inside the 30 metre line. So many of these uh, New South Wales players, I pointed out earlier, many of them have seen little football coming into origin. I'm wondering whether that's coming back to haunt some of them. Here is Slater with the ball now. Slater, he runs, he comes off his left foot, and oh, he's twisted an ankle over there, but he's tackled. And Brett Morris gets up, clutching a hand. Ben Tio has been strong in the last few minutes. Inside the 20-metre line. Played by Tio to Thurston, then to Cameron Smith. Now to Cherry Evans. Cherry Evans to Hodges. Hodges away to Tate. Tate off his right foot twice. Gets the ball away. It's with Gillett. And Gillett is held. Three metres out from the line. There's room two passes wide. They couldn't have slowed the play the ball down any longer, surely. Now it's away from Cameron Smith, and it's gone long out to Thurston. And oh, the pass, wild behind Slater and Inglis. So the, the fire goes out of that attacking play. But they had it all set up there. Four. Give me space. Well, the fourth tackle has expired. And the Queen is with the ball now. 12 away from the line, tackle five has been called. Thurston goes from the open side. The ball is on the ground and dived on by the Blues, I think. Yeah, Lewis has got the ball. What? Play the ball here, you're right there. Or Scott. You're right there. Sorry. Oh, Scott it is who's got the ball. And Shane Haynes is calling a halt to ask if everybody was okay lying around the play the ball area. Well, can I be the first to say it? What a game. What an absolute belter of a game. Haven't they picked up the pace here in the second half, both sides? So Tamo has been pulled down eventually. 
More towards middle ground. In front of the uprights. And Luke Lewis he bounces off Gillette. And will play the ball. Jennings then. This is what we probably expect more of from Jennings with that blinding speed of his. Particularly at a stage like this. The forwards have been working tirelessly. Pain kicks, it sails down to Boyd, two tries, and he comes back and comes towards Tupo, who goes in, and then Tate is tackled 40 metres out from his own line. Well, that has been 10 minutes of physical assault. The Queensland side have somehow found it within them to get stuck into New South Wales. They've had plenty of possession. This man has been ruthless. In defence, Nate Miles. If, if New South Wales had to go on and win this game, it would be what they've done in the last 10 minutes and what they might have to do for the next couple again. Tio, safely held by Tamo and Woods, the, the starting props, and Woods from Marker. He's moved out and made a tackle on the dummy half Cameron Smith just outside the 30 metre line. And Thurston kicks. And it goes down to Hayne again. And Inglis is with him. The two superstars come together. And Hayne plays the ball. And Josh Morris to Brett Morris. Well, it might be productive, that set of six for the Queenslanders. They've got to be patient. New South Wales keep displaying the courage that they have. They're refusing to give up. This is, what, as Gus said, a mighty origin battle. And Daniel Tupo comes away. Out towards the 20-metre line. Plays it back to Hodkinson. A run for Luke Lewis. Out to the 30-metre line. They're driving the wedge up the middle now. And Hayne kicks out of dummy half. He kicks long and it bounces favourably for Tate. Tate is coming over his 20. Now he's out to his 30. And he comes to Jennings who makes the tackle. So the timepiece, 15 minutes to go. With the Blues leading by four in Origin 1 and Origin 100. Now, with all of that football for Queensland and the physicality of their defence, that takes a lot out of you. So, it's going to be a really huge effort from Queensland if they can continue that. Greg Inglis near the halfway. Picked up by Cameron Smith. Oh, Jonathan Thurston! Lost the ball and Reynolds has got it for the Blues. That's a big, big turning point. And Reynolds clutching at the base of the neck. Bo Scott has gone into dummy half. Gallon is back on the park. So he'll be happy again. He gets quite grumpy when they bring him off. Farrah and Gallon both out there. Starting props are out there, Woods and um, Tamo. And so the Blues now, they see a bit of attacking territory. As it comes on to Hodkinson, an in ball for Lewis. Ran over the top of one, was taken on the 20 metre line. Farrah gets it on, Gallon pushes away. Now it's with Hayne, the fender's there. Arm didn't touch the ground, gone away to Morris. And Josh brings it back to the middle of the ground. And falling is Reynolds. So here it is with Gallagher. Farrell with his familiar runner, Hodkinson, going back to the, the, the impact player. Hayne it is. He sweeps it across to Josh Morris. He puts a kick in. It'll go dead in goal. It'll be a 20-metre restart. They'll start it quickly, Queensland. That's a poor play from Josh Morris. It wasn't the last tackle, and he wasn't in any position to kick. Yeah, they went a bit side to side in that set of six. There was no punch at all, and you can understand that, given the pressure they've been at at the other end of the field. But that's that's the test of origin football, to, to come back after the, the fatiguing defence and still throw something at them in attack. And Morris is off on the far side of the ground and he's limping back on as play comes to his side and he makes the tackle. He makes the tackle, Josh Morris. He limps away from the scene of the tackle on Inglis. And there's Guerra with the ball now. Oh, 
this is good fun, this. That was incredible what Josh Morris just did. Now it's gone from Thurston back to Greg Inglis. And they're 15 away from the line. They're trailing by four. Greg Inglis playing it. Cameron Smith giving. Good, Jonathan good, Thurston good. puts a little kick on it. Oh, it's cleaned up. It's a penalty, Queensland. Wow. Thurston interfered with. What are you doing, Wally? What it do is do? battle stations for the Blues. Oh. Got to go for the try. Well, they're four behind. They're not two behind, so the kick at goal's no good to them. Josh Reynolds grabbed Jonathan Thurston there, the kicker. Here yeah. we go. Under 12 minutes to go. Nate Miles takes play one to that point. Smith deep for Jerry Evans and then to the reasonably fresh legs of Ben Teo and centimetres from the try line. Cameron Smith rifling the ball. Cherry Evans goes short into McQueen and then folds around and waits on the left. So Smith knows all of this and he goes to Cherry Evans and then they go to Inglis and Greg is again centimetres from the line. So from Cameron Smith to Jonathan Thurston. He let Nate Miles run the decoy. Cherry Evans, then to Hodges. Hodges decides to have a go. He's pulled down on tackle five. Tackler there mainly was Jennings from Tate. The kick by Cherry Evans into the in goal and taken by Hayne. Hayne taking it cleanly then throwing the ball quickly for the quick restart, which Reynolds is there to accept and has tackled outside the 30 metre line. And you just see what Haynes just did back there. It was it was class personified. Well, it was class from the whole Blues side. That defence was outstanding on their line there. Given everything they've been through in this half of football, backs to the wall, they turned them away yet again. And here's a penalty. 10 minutes to go exactly, a penalty against Nate Miles. Raking the ball. Well, here's a chance for the Blues to win it. Ten minutes to go, leading by four. They've got to suck it up, and they've got to find the play to put this beyond doubt. Jared Hayne has been the go-to man. They've gone right most of the night. They've attacked Thurston's side of the field. Maybe it's time to come the other way and find the fresh legs of a Jennings or Tupo on this left-hand side. Hodkinson finding the line. Look at those grandstands. Packed to capacity. Uh, what did Wally say? 52,100 odd. Andrew John sideline. Yeah, Trent Hodkinson. 10 minutes ago, 9 minutes ago. This is where he's got to have a cool head. Make sure the last play builds some pressure. So Farrah sweeps it to the short side to Lewis. And they're valuable metres for Luke Lewis. Hodkinson's kicks have got progressively better when aimed at Tupo tonight. Reynolds again now. Now he comes away for Hodkinson to sweep it in for Tamo. James Tamo from the Cowboys plays it 12 away. Farrah to Wood, to Farrah again. Farrah drifting now for Gallon with an in ball. And Gallon is a couple of metres out from the line. In fact, Gallon's still going to just a couple of blades of grass away from that, that try line. As Farrah swings it away, Payne comes in, Lewis has the ball taken from him, and he gets six more tackles. Now he's ruled a knock-on. Well, now, Payne, I'm not sure whether he's copped a tip from his pocket referee or a touch judge, but that looked like it was knocked out by Greg Inglis and then regathered by Luke Lewis, and the first indication was six more tackles but now they've changed the, the call and a scrum and a feed for queensland yeah for 100 years that's been a drop ball i mean it's, it's hard to give a team six again with that i, I couldn't agree with you more but we see it every weekend in every club match we see well they've got a long way to go here the queenslanders still only four the difference for billy slater 
20 meters out from his own line. Now for Chris McQueen, wearing jumper 18 as a memorial, really, for the resting of the 11 jumper, which belonged to Arthur Vincent. Now with Guerra, and he'll play the ball 35 meters out from his own line. Back to Cherry Evans, then to Thurston. He beat a flying Jennings and beat him easily. Then he got a ball out, but has come off Queensland. And he play on, no. He's ruled. He's ruled hell with no possession. Uh, strap yourselves in, everyone. Here we go. The grandstand finish coming up. The champions fall behind. The challengers holding on grimly. Wally Lewis is standing up. Peter Sterling standing up. Ray sitting down. He's calm, collected. Patience vital for the Queenslanders at the moment. Just seven minutes left. But they know if they get through, they're going to have to be at their best. This is brilliant New South Wales defence. Uh, these are the periods of origin that I remember most of all. These dying minutes with Queensland snapping victory from the jaws of defeat. And Tio it is, injecting life into this Queensland side. Now from Thurston, here's the trouble. Slater for Boyd, oh, Boyd. Tibble. Boyd looking for Tribble. No, Brett Morris has come up here with a magnificent... Tackle three. Head on no try. tackle. Check the to uh, top side, Darius Boyd. Shane Hayne has indicated no try in his opinion. He's inches away from a hat-trick, Darius Boyd. But what a valuable couple of in inches it is. Watch this effort from Brett Morris. Braces himself. And Darius Boyd can't get the football down. The ball is still between the two men, and he's rolled into touch. Brilliant defence. He was just slowed down a little bit there, Boyd. He had to stop, reach up high for the pass, which took a bit of speed. But, gee, have a look at the intent from Morris. That is a fantastic tackle. Remember, too, that Brett Morris dislocated his shoulder in the first half, scoring a try. And with that shoulder, has just saved a try at the other end of the field. So he scored one and he saved one. And the second one that he saves is great courage. Well, that foot that's obscured by the head of Luke Lewis is well, they're out. Look, they're looking at the restart, and I think it's more a scrum than a 20-metre tap. I think they're looking to see whether or not Boyd had his foot on the line short of the try line it's the restart they're looking at it's no try yeah i think he's i think he's gone into touch in the field of play which means it will be a scrum what scrum what uh, what tackle was it? it obviously it wasn't the last because he's now told the scrum to go down and laurie daly now gus is talking about people standing up well laurie's doing exactly that bob fulton standing alongside him they're both standing up and I'm not telling any fibbies like Gus was earlier. <laughs> Gus had the entire box standing up here. He's got a wonderful imagination. After football commentary, he'll take up poetry. There is no doubt about that. As New South Wales win the scrum, and Gallon is piled on by Queensland. Tio and Guerra, gee, haven't they really provided some much needed injection aggressively the running as well has been so strong Tamo, let me check the timepiece five and a half minutes to go now origin 100 so typical of this wonderful product that started in 1980 basically the brainchild of the uh, late Senator McAuliffe and Kevin Humphreys and they called Arthur Beetson in and said what do you think and he said oh I don't know about that mate on mate I don't know whether that'll work but I'll tell you what it's surviving the test of time and here we are with another typical origin finish 12-8 the Blues in front haven't won here in game one since 2003 English English trying to run around but he's pulled down over there yeah, by Bo Scott. So Thurston for McQueen now, the young South Sydney player from Kingaroy in Queensland. Less than five minutes on the clock. To the halfway line and Guerra again. 
cannot afford to give away a penalty, New South Wales. Fourth tackle, and the deeper we get into the tackle count, the less you want to give penalties. And it's Inglis who's brought down on five, and they're 25 away. So Tupo best get ready over here, I would imagine, off this kick. And Jerry Evans goes over to him. They're testing the youngster. And that one he comes down with safely. He bungled a couple of them earlier on. So it was you didn't need rocket science to know they'd be going back there again. Here's Hayne inside his own 20-meter line. The Blues then clinging on to a four-point lead. And Laurie and Boza standing anxious. Just four minutes left. Seems a short period of time, but it can be an eternity in a game of rugby league. It can be an eternity in this game as well you know. You have done it yourself, and so has the little bloke on the sideline, Darren Lockyer. You know what it's like to grab victory from the jaws of defeat and break the hearts of those south of the border. Well, they're only going to get two more opportunities, you would think. And this one's starting from deep in their own territory. Brent Tate brings it back. He's been outstanding for Queensland tonight, Brent Tate. So Hodges too, Morris. Hodges knows where to go. So does Thurston. We've got to go to G.I. G.I.'s down the ground, and he runs to the 30-metre line. Payne did well. Farrah hangs on. It comes away to Cherry Evans now. He dummies. He's still going. He's running a half circle, but Hodkinson pulls him down. 18 away from the line. Now it's gone to Parker. And Parker on the fourth tackle. Gets it to Smith. Smith gets it away to Slater. And here's out the ball out to Greg Inglis again. Fourth tackle gone. Greg went down rather gingerly. Now it's come away to Thurston. On the inside for Scott. And Matt Scott from Ilfracombe. Playing the ball five metres out from the line. Play back for Smith. It's gone to Thurston. They've got the numbers. Hands everywhere. Hands everywhere. And Chris McQueen and Jared Hayne have it between them. Well, Queensland scored a try from their last line dropout reception. Brilliant work by Thurston under pressure. Only inches away, Inglis, for the levelling score. The last time they got a line dropout, they produced points. And this will be, I think, their last attacking set of six of the game. The clock's still ticking. There's a Blues player injured in the field to play. Now the clock stops. Yeah, it's Robbie Farrow who's actually got cramp out there being treated. Aaron Woods has left the field in behind the dead ball line. Well, here we go. One set of six. Game one. Game 100 in this epic, epic battle between the two states, New South Wales and Queensland. It doesn't get any better than this, ever. So Hodkinson with this long dropout, 48 metres, and Miles brings it back, probably on the last set that Queensland will get, or in fact, Will it be the last set that they need to reverse the scoreboard? Here is Scott with the ball, 31 metres out from the line. Taken by, well, Scott on Scott, in fact. Now it's come back from Miles, and Miles is down. 22 metres out from the line, right in front of the uprights. Third tackle gone. Cameron Smith, he goes back to Jerry Evans, and Jerry Evans tries to do it. He tries to get a kick away. There was a wild kick there. It might be play on for the Blues here. here. Shane Hayne is calling a halt. Oh. Oh. Giving the feed to Queensland. Wow. wow. Billy Slater kicked the ball while it was on the ground. I thought that was a rash play. Instead of diving on it. They have found a knock on from this kick. Paul, come on. No. Come here. Well, that's a harsh call. That's a really harsh call. That is not a knock-on. That is not a knock-on. Anyway, the Blues have got to defend for 45 seconds. The Maroons have got four or five plays to get the levelling score. They're all lined out to the left. The question was, did Hodkinson play at the ball? The answer to that 
appeared to be no. Here's Slater. Now here's Hodges. Hodges turns back in. Slater's down injured at the moment. They're eight metres out from the line. And Hodges has lost the ball. What are they going to do here? I think they're going to get the football back to Justin Hodges because an injury had been called against Billy Slater. Just um. Well, Wally Lewis, should Justin Hodges have thrown the pass to Inglis? Well, he's obviously had something in his mind what he was preferring to. I think previous encounters that we've seen from the big man, I certainly would have tipped it onto him. Paul Gallen is saying to the referee that Justin Hodges has lost the football. There's no reason that he should be given it back to play. Now, they had him covered. It looked as though the Blues had him covered. And nothing wrong with that tackle from Bo Scott. We've still got three tackles to four tackles to play here. And only 28 seconds left on the clock. Michael Hagen alongside of Mel Meninga. Greg English going over. Right there. Up here, Greg. Greg, up here. To take the play the ball. That's strange. Yeah, well, Justin Hodges had it, so, I mean, they put Justin Hodges back in his right centre position. Scott <laughs> has gone to Miles. Miles will play the ball eight metres out from the New South Wales line. They've still got four tackles. Here's, uh, up there, here's Thurston on to Terry Evans, and Terry Evans three metres out from the line. Last play Last coming play. up. So the ball is there. It's a penalty, Queensland. And the siren in the background. We have one play. The Whoa. siren has sounded, but a penalty's been given. Who wants to stand under this? Here comes a bomb. Who wants it? What a finish. Can you believe this? 100 games. 12-8. Blues by four. Siren has sounded. No, Penalty, play. Queensland. Come on. Ten metres out. And as Wally Lewis said, who wants this? Tapped by Smith. Gone from Parker. Gone to Thurston. Gone to Hodges. Now to Slater. Slater is tackled. Slater is tackled. And uh, New South Wales have won the first game of the encounter. What a marvellous game of football. And very appropriate there that Bo Scott made the timely tackle, as he's done all night tonight up against Inglis Slater. They've gone that way non-stop, and New South Wales lead 1-0, going to their home turf in three weeks' time. With the chance to win their first series since 2005. The full-time score, New South Wales 12, Queensland 8. And what a game this man has had tonight, Jared Hayne. Andrew John. Oh, with the captain. What about that? That's a game for the ages. That was an epic. Oh, mate. I'll tell you what, we give, we give the fans here something to cheer about, didn't we? That was unbelievable defensive effort. You know, we hung in there. Now, that, that, they got some good calls that last three minutes. And we held tough. It was a great win. What about the depths the team dug to win that, that game, that second half, the defence? They were out on their feet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they had a couple of injuries. I think we had some injuries. And, you now, we played really well in the first half, moving the ball. The second half, they really revved up in defence and got in our face. And we lost our way a little bit, but we hung in there. Good on you, mate. Two more to go. Over to you, Lockie. Thanks, Joe, here with Billy Slater. Was that one of the toughest origins you've ever played in? Yeah, that was tough, Lockie. It was uh, very disappointing, mate. Uh, and to go down by two, uh, four points in the end. It's, yeah, it's, it's a tough one, mate, but uh, that's origin. Well, you know, the, the momentum was all with them early and then in the, early in the second half, but you just did well to come back. Yeah, I thought we defended really well on our line and, you know, it was a low-scoring affair and uh, that's what origin's all about, so not too much between the two sides. I thought you were outstanding tonight, mate. Well done. Over to you, Finchie. Here with Josh Reynolds, mate. Absolutely outstanding tonight. How do you feel? I'm buggered, mate. That was something I've never never been through before. I've never been through that, that type of pain. And 
to do it with such a great bunch of guys is an amazing feeling. Mate, you must be so proud of your own game, but also the team's game, especially under all that pressure towards the back end of the game. Mate, Queensland's were coming at us there on the line. You know, we had probably had about five, five sets there in our 10. The boys just kept rolling in. It's an unbelievable team, man. Let's get, get behind us. Must be real excited now back down to Sydney for game two. Yeah, mate, it's going to be unbelievable, you know. It's, uh, it's hard to explain the feelings I'm going through now, mate. It's the hardest game I've been in, and full credit to the boys. Mate, you made us all very proud. Back to you, Rabs. OK, Brett, thank you very much for that. And, of course, to Josh for his time. But uh, there it is. New South Wales have won game one. The first time they've won here at Suncorp since 2003 in game one. Hodson to, Hodgkinson, by the way, is the first New South Wales halfback to win on debut in Brisbane since Turvey Mortimer. There's another landmark in this game. Holden State of Origin, Game 100, so much more to come. Hope you loved it, including the Australian Union's hardest working player. We'll have the Tui's new highlights and more from the players. We're back with you on the Wide World of Sports in just a moment.